Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description and the title, so that you can look at this playlist and pick and choose which subjects interest you the most. Or you can start at one and go through 25. They're all between three and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time, but you wanna learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a longtime user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting. I'm aiming my tips at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Now today's tip is going to be about setting up your table as a DM. Now we're going to take the player version of setting up your table and start with that. This is how we uh, recommended that you set your table up. It's not the only way, it's just the way that we think works the best with playing in a game. And uh, that was given in tip number four. If you wanna go back and watch that and see how I arrange things and where I got everything, if you're not going in order, because we're on tip number 22 and I would think that you would have watched four already, but you may have picked not to use not to watch that. Okay, so we have our table here. We have our four players. There are no players on my table. However, if there were, their portraits would be right up here. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to wanna click on the shield and you'll see the way that I'm setting up my uh, players. We are going to be uh, layer the, layering them one on top of each other so they're all in the same spot. The next thing I wanna do is load my map. There's my map, I've, I've got it all resized and everything. And then I'm going to uh, add an encounter. Now I showed you how to add, an, <coughs> excuse me, I showed you how to add an encounter back in tip number 21. And this, this is how you would pre preload your encounter. You take your encounter, open it up, and I've actually loaded these on the map. You're not seeing them, but when I hit the down arrow, these NPCs will go onto my combat tracker and you will see them sh where the placement was on the map when I do so. There, these are our three. NPCs. Okay, now I want to add the players to the the uh, the list the um, map itself, and I'm trying to scroll around. I have a small screen, so pardon my small screen. I have to deal with what space I have. So we showed you about adding players to a map in tip number twenty. So this may look familiar unless you didn't go in order. I'm gonna move the start at the top and you will see why I'm adding this this way. So I'm going to take all my NPCs, I'm going to layer them on top of where I have the, <clears throat> the players and stretch it so that everything's all layered exactly. Now let's do the same with our ape, click on the the shield, drag him so that he's layered, and then the acolyte. Drag them so that they are layered. So when we have our turn, all we have to do to access the sheet is click on the shield. So everything is right down this, 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 uh, uh, row. <laughs> this row. It's not really a row, but it's even anyway. So that is how you would access a sheet. And now you can see how easy it would be to run a combat with this configuration. So let's add the players onto the map. Now, again, I have small map. I'm going to, I'm going to move over a little bit because I'm going to add the players I'm gonna do it easily, just like I showed you in tip number 20, by dragging them over, 
by clicking the shield. Let's put them so that they're visible on the map when I have the uh, NPCs. Everybody's there. Let's scroll back over here. Okay, so now you can see everybody. So that is how you would do an encounter and why this is a good configuration because it's easy to go through the turns and if you needed to check the person's sheet, you just click on the uh, the uh, shield here and it's easy to check. So I hope that this tip was helpful for you and I thank you for watching and I hope you'll continue to watch the rest of my tips and I will talk to you later. Bye.